Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I decorated my front porch with some of my DIYs I recently created along with how I decorated my front landscaping. So let's get into the video. All right, you guys, this is what the front of my house looks like. If you've never seen it before, I did a landscaping video a few years ago and showed you exactly what I did here. But we are going to start with the front porch and then we're going to work our way on to planting some flowers in this video. It is a super fun, relaxing, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of planting flowers, just like a really nice, it was like beautiful outside. It was like 66, 65 degrees out. Um, it was just a really good day. I was all by myself. I got to just take my time figure out what I wanted to do to give my front porch a fun little facelift. So the first thing I do obviously is clean the door. So our dog, every time she wants to come inside, she kind of scratches or knocks at the bottom of the door. So it's always so filthy and so dirty. So I started out doing that and then I started sweeping. Yes, you're going to see paint splotches on the ground. They have been there, I think, since I've moved in. It, they've been there forever. It's been like 12 years since I've moved into this home and I cannot get them off. You, I know you can paint concrete. That is honestly something that sounds awful. <laughs> Maybe someday down the road, I will want to do that. But anyways, first thing I did, uh, cleaned. Then I added my rug. It was from Dollar General. This summer, hello summer door sign. You guys recently saw that in a DIY I did. Then I'm just adding this chair. I did a chair makeover last year. I'll link any outdoor front porch videos that I have. They're just some of my favorite to do because I love being outside and I feel like it's so colorful and pretty and love it. These windows, they do not have glass in them. Uh, my neighbor gave them to me quite a few years ago and I think it just gives it some height. Now I'm going to be adding this welcome to our happy humble home sign. I did that in a recent DIY as well and I'll link it below. This little plant stand I also did in a recent DIY video. Uh, like I said, I'll link all those. This cute little lantern, 25 cents from a garage sale. Picked up these type of flowers, marigolds. I don't know what the other ones are, but they were really cute and really pretty. And I thought pink would be fun. So now I'm just grabbing some dirt from some old planters. And then I did pick up some potting soil as well. Uh, it probably was not the correct potting soil, but I promise you guys with the humidity and the rain and the good weather we've been having, these little guys are not dying. They are thriving. Promise you guys this because I'm not a professional gardener whatsoever. I just really like making my house look cute for a few months that Michigan is actually nice. This next planner, I picked this up at a yard sale and thrifted and did a little makeover on this as well. And it was also in my previous outdoor video. And I'm just adding some rocks to the bottom and some potting soil and some flowers to this one. Ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just I think this little magazine rack turned to flower pot is one of my favorites, and I will say over and over and over again. Yes, I'm probably not planting flowers correctly, but honestly, with the humidity we've been having, they are doing absolutely amazing uh, with or without a little drainage hole. They're working, they look great, and I'm so happy that I came up with a ton of different and found a ton of different uh, like thrifted decor that I can turn into plant holders, planters, <laughs> planters. That's what I wanted to say. And then I do notice that this is for in-ground use, this potting soil, this all-purpose garden soil, but I don't know, it still works for it, out of the ground too. What I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. 
so once all the flowers were planted, I was able to start decorating with them. So I threw that little lantern right on top of that small little planter table along with my new magazine holder flower pot planter. And then this little pot I had, I think I picked that up off Amazon, possibly home goods. I cannot remember. It's been, I've had it for years. I used to have succulents in that tiny little planter. And then I'm just adding my truck planter onto here. And then I start decorating one side of my porch. So I picked that bench up, or I've had this bench for a few years. It's actually from Tractor Supply. And then I think it was a home interior table that I set right there. I redid it. I picked that up at a yard sale as well. And of course I had to have a little raid done outside. This pot was so dirty and I had to clean it, of course. So just a little good all purpose cleaner and a paper towel. And then now I am starting to add my flowers into my landscaping, pulling a little bit of weeds out, just doing the thing before it gets super hot and super muggy. This little chicken planter, this came from, I think, Tractor Supply as well. Pretty much everything either came from Tractor Supply, possibly Meyer. Uh, my husband picked that little ice box or ice cooler up for me, and I turned it into a planter. That was actually from Meyer this year. And then this little next toolbox, I think that was from Tractor Supply as well. And then I spray painted it and then spray painted it again and threw some goats on there with the word farmhouse. And that was from another DIY video a couple of years ago. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest. So I do have to have a little story in here. So, so a couple years ago, we decided to add rocks to the front lawn and we added some landscaping bricks, things like that. The rocks are already here, but we always did mulch every year. So every single year we would buy new mulch. We buy bags and bags and bags and bags of mulch. And then down the road from us, they had this river rock, which was actually cheaper than replacing mulch every single year. It was actually cheaper than like a whole year of mulch, which I honestly thought that was crazy, but I love this minimal look. I love that it is super easy to take care of. There is a little bit of weeds here and there to pick, but honestly, it is so easy to take care of without so much like mulch and the mulch is always like dirty or it has that like color on it. So the black will get all over your feet or the red or it's just so messy and so expensive when you have to replace it every single year. And sometimes our summers get really, really hot. We have mosquitoes and nobody really wants to go outside and pull weeds while getting bit up by mosquitoes. Uh, we do have our well pump are well in the front, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. We've covered it a few times. There was a bush there a long time ago, but we pulled that up and it doesn't really bother me. But this is what everything looks like. This is what my front landscaping looks like. And I am obsessed with all of it. 90% of it was thrifted. The other 10% was probably from Tractor Supply. And like I said, that ice box was from Meyer. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you in love this little tour of my minimal landscaping for my front yard. But you guys, if you guys like outdoor videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive.
drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Nothing can break me. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video please make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and if you are new to my channel I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!